Well, again, people that have 3D printers and like cars. Uh, I did a video of this, uh, these three cars not too long ago. Uh, they turned out alright. You know, the only thing missing are some decals. I don't know, maybe someday I'll add some decals to these. But I went ahead and I printed some more of these models from uh, this Dendeba 3D model YouTuber here. He has links to all of his builds and uh, you can and links to download the files for free. So thank you again, Dendeba. I appreciate all this work you're putting out for other people to uh, you know have fun with their 3D printers. So why don't we show you guys what I have now? It takes a long time though. I mean to put support structures and chitterbox and then uh, 3D print it successfully and then paint it. it it takes a long time to make one of these things if I had to guess six maybe six hours each or depends if you if you count paint drying time ten hours maybe all right well so let's start with this guy this is a Pontiac Grand Prix you know I remember this car uh, for me, I had a hard time printing again. I put some really thick supports here. You can see these round things, super strong supports, but it still tried to delaminate right there. That's what that line is there. So as a resin printer of mine is, is printing upside down, it creates a lot of suction. And so it almost tried to rip it in half there. So that's the only downfall. I also dropped it by accident. So this, this thing does have side mirrors, but I broke it off and I couldn't get it glued back, so I just broke the other one off, and now it's running sport mirrors, so let's consider it that way. So yeah, I had to hand paint all this stuff myself as well. And uh, also, if you look into the brakes here, this, this particular file, the wheels and the body are all one piece. So I, it was really hard to paint these wheels, you know, very patiently I had to paint them. And then you'll see the brake system back there, my 3D printer only printed half of it because there were no supports at all inside of that wheel. So ideally, you know, if I had to complain about a free item, all the wheels would be separate files so you could print those separately. Even better would be wheels and tires as separate pieces so you can paint the tire, you know, separately. Alright, but anyways, for free, I mean, again, it's pretty awesome. It's really cool that Dendeba is putting these out there for people to, uh, to print. And I don't think Choro Q is ever going to make this car, so it's pretty nice. All right, another car, a car I didn't even know about, is a Celica. This is a Celica, like, uh, Turbo Le Mans racer or something. I don't even remember what it was, but, uh, yeah, I just painted it silver. Originally I wanted white, but it's, white takes too much paint. It was going to start filling in all the cracks. So I switched over to silver so I wouldn't fill in all the panel gaps. And yes, it was uh, difficult to paint this stuff. Sorry, there's some weird music from this. Uh... That was actually one of the tracks on Dendeba's website, or YouTube channel, playing some music. All right, so yeah, I forget what this is called, but it's on his channel and you can download it. Now what's nice about this file is the wheels are a separate piece. So I printed these separately. The tire is still part of the wheel though, but he's got a nice gap between the wheel and the tire. So there's less chance of you messing it up when you're painting. Alright. Uh, so here's an old Saturn car. And uh, pretty funky, an interesting subject to choose to do. But you'll see again, it started, my 3D printer tried to delaminate it where, where you see these lines. Oh, this was an earlier print. Uh, yeah, I have some thin supports, so it just wasn't enough support to print properly. But I was too lazy to uh, reprint it because resin is pretty expensive. This is one solid piece of plastic. You know, ideally it would be hollowed out so you can save on resin. But again, it's free. So anyway, anyways, I managed to not drop this one and keep the mirrors intact. So the Pontiac had mirrors similar to this. Unfortunately, I don't know, there's no outlines for the rear lights, so I'm not going to even attempt to try to paint rear lights if I don't have any sort of recesses to work within. And here you'll see the roughness of me trying to sand off all my supports. I printed it at this angle, and so that's why you'll see these lines where I tried to rip or delaminate the model. Alright.
right, pretty funky uh, wheel spokes there. One of the spokes didn't print out properly because it was trying to delaminate. But an interesting subject for sure. And in cartoon form, I think it looks really cool. All right. Here's a new 400Z. So a really cool subject because definitely no super deformed models of this exist. I'm pretty sure Churro Q will eventually get around to making this. But it's not out yet. But again, this one, the wheels are part of the same print file. So all this was printed at this angle, I think, this time around. So you'll see the lines. And so this one was impossible to paint because there's no ridge separating the tire from the wheel. So I'm surprised that one looks so nice. But yeah. And also you'll see, I think the wheel is actually not round. Because uh, as this is printing upside down, it's creating a lot of suction. And so it's sucking the wheel up through the resin in the off the build plate well trying to tear it off the build plate but anyways if you know about 3d printing you understand what i'm saying it's not really round would have been cool if the wheels were separate pieces but this one has nice enough offsets that you can actually clean up any sort of messy painting i hand painted all these things and even this one i was able to paint the taillights because there's a little ridge there but you'll see uh, my printer again it tried to delaminate a lot right here not enough supports so even though there's a lot of small supports, I really recommend you just put a lot of giant supports there because it's, it's a lot of suction going on on the printing of this guy. Alright, my favorite of this batch is this Rolls Royce that he made. And there's a video of him building this thing and he took a Rolls Royce and he added fender flares. And it also had wheels but they were part of the print again and something messed up on mine. So I clipped the wheels out. I totally removed the wheels. You'll see I took a lot of extra resin out there. And then I, these are just some cheap wheels from one of my like low grade 164 scale cars. And uh, I swapped some tires around. This is the original one. This is a Hot Wheels Real Rider tire. And I shaved it down to fit the wheel wheel of this. This one printed a little more successfully because the supports are much thicker. Right? But uh, even so, I think it still tried to delaminate in certain areas. You can see those lines. All right, so more supports is the key thing. But I think this is cool, Dendeba. You had a there was a wing on here as well, but I it was so delicate I decided to just cut it off and shave it, you know, smooth it out. So it's a custom classic Rolls Royce. That's my favorite one. Very cool. Alright, let me get all these things on the spinning machine here. Hold on a second. Alright, so really big thank you to this channel, Dendeba, Dendeba 3D Model. Uh, you started uh, your channel like a year ago. I'm sure you're going to have thousands of people soon enough because you're nice enough to give away a bunch of free STL files for people to print out. Not only cartoon cars like this, but there's a lot of normal looking cars. Like back here, you have a McLaren Honda MP4-4, or, or a, a step wagon. Right, he's got a lot of different videos and a lot of different cars for download. So go ahead and check him out, guys, if you have a 3D printer. Just keep in mind that for the ones, most of these are solid. So you got to have a lot of thick, thick supports or it's going to try to delaminate. Uh, that's what I'm learning in my experience. So, you know, maybe there'll be another video because I didn't download everything he has uh, up on this uh, YouTube channel. All right, well, thanks for checking this out again, guys, and I'll see you in the next 3D print.